Okay, so I've gotten some questions about what um, a fat cycling day is and why do I do it? Um, so Danny has incorporated two days a week of a fat cycling day. So fat cycling days are days where we reduce the amount of dietary fat I'm eating, um, increase the lean protein and increase the carbohydrates just slightly. Um, my carbohydrates literally go from eight grams to 18, so still low carb. Um, but the reason we take the dietary fat out is because we want my body to have to use my body fat percent, or my, body, my stored body fat. So if you are already um, keto adapted and fat adapted, or you're really trying to lose weight, you want to slowly, once, you, once you're, you, your body is used to using your fat for fuel, you wanna start taking away some of that dietary fat so your body has to use your um, stored body fat and your ketones for energy. So while I'm getting leaner, we kind of have to shock my system a little bit um, just to make sure that it's responding well because your body's going to be resistant to losing weight the, the leaner you get, okay? Your body is going to go, well, why are you starving me of calories and things like that? So, and, and the more I exercise, you know, my body is going to, you know, it's going to respond, but it might start to uh, fight back. So. This is a good way to keep keep my um, my body from uh, stalling out. Okay, so the cool thing about my fat cycling days is um, fat is nine calories per gram, while protein and carbs are four. So I actually the volume of my food feels very fairly big because I can eat a little bit more volume on those days um, while I'm in a calorie deficit. So my fat cycling days are lower in calorie, but we keep the density, how much food I'm, how much food I'm eating at a good level so I stay satiated. So it's a really good way of, you know, adding a lower calorie day in, but still feeling full and not feeling deprived. So another um, reason for uh, the fat cycling day is it's uh, adding a little bit of carbs in there and kind of shocking the system can help with resetting your leptin and ghrelin hormones. So leptin is secreted pretty much in your fat cells um, and it helps to decrease your hunger. And the, the more fat you have, the more leptin you can produce. So as you get leaner, your leptin uh, hormone levels can really start to lower and that will also increase your ghrelin, which is the ghrelin hormone will make you feel hungrier. So especially with women, um, they're finding that uh, that leptin ghrelin um, imbalance can really start to get messed up. Um, and adding a little bit of carbohydrates and um, kind of shocking the system there can reset the hormones. So I think that's kind of why he puts the, the carbohydrates in there because we want to make sure that my hormones stay balanced because the more, I mean, like I said, leptin is actually produced a lot in your fat cells. So the leaner you get, you know, your body is gonna produce less of that leptin um, and then it, that ghrelin increases and makes you feel hungrier. I mean, it all kind of makes sense. That's why when you're on a calorie deficit, you start to feel hungry. So that's another reason behind it. You wanna balance those hormones. And it's, it's a really good fat loss tip. I mean, you gotta, you know, you wanna be, you know, cutting calories. You wanna um, think about where your calories are coming from and all of those things play a part in fat loss. And so it's not technically calories in, calories out, it's like, how are you doing them? So that's kind of, kind of the idea behind that. Um, another reason for it is uh, on those fat cycling days, my protein is pretty high, but it takes more energy to burn protein than it does carbohydrates and fat. So when you have a higher protein day, you're actually burning more calories than you're taking in. So you actually, it takes like 
20 to 30 percent energy expenditure to burn the protein i hope that makes sense um, protein takes more energy to break down and use for energy and to digest than fat and carbohydrates so truly the amount of calories you're taking in is actually a little bit less than the actual calories so there's a lot of science behind it that's why i say calories in calories out and is not it's true and you want to be in calorie deficits um, in order to lose weight but it is very important that you understand that not all calories are the same it is important to look at your ratios and kind of think about how what you're intaking is being used as fuel and I think this is the thing that I'd like to just emphasize for everyone when you're thinking about doing a ketogenic diet or any kind of nutrition plan is to think about why are you eating the macros you are are you eating what you need to fuel your body for what you need to do so right now I am trying to lose body fat and I'm trying to maintain lean muscle mass so I am doing a higher protein, lower fat ketogenic diet. So very low carb, but my protein levels are higher than like the 75, 25 ratios that people say is keto. But I am also fat adapted and have been in ketosis and know how to do this. So everyone's macros are gonna be different. These are what are working for me. And that is why we are doing the fat cycling days. So comment below if you have questions or didn't understand that. I know it's it's more complicated than, than it, I mean, it seems like it's more complicated. Um, it is kind of complicated, but in the long run, this is kind of just like kind of a, an overview of why I'm doing the fat cycling days and what they're for. Um, if you want to learn a little bit more about this kind of thing, I would actually maybe look up uh, protein sparing modified fasts. That is another kind of version of what I'm doing. So uh, I'm not going to get into that in this video, but it is a very good tool. It's basically a day where you lower your fat down really low. It's a low calorie day. You eat pretty much protein. And again, you're going to shock that system get your body to use your body fat for fuel. A lot of people in the ketogenic community um, are uh, talking about this, about how, you know, uh, on occasion, if you're getting stalled, up that protein, lower that fat. And it seems everybody thinks, oh, increase the fat, increase the fat, lower the protein. Not true. So as far as, and, and this is definitely, it's been, proven like with some scientific things and stuff but anecdotally I know this to be true so before my cut I did quite a bit of protein spring modified fast as well um, so if you want to know a little bit more about that I would um, google that okay protein spring modified fast